Seoul is home to over 18,000 cafes, and as a coffee enthusiast, I had to go check it out myself. Hello everyone, my name is Jay Lin, and I'm a lifestyle and travel creator based in New York City. And after a 13-hour journey, we made it! We finally arrived, and today, we're gonna be cafe hopping. I'm so excited, there's a bunch of coffee shops that I wanna visit. The coffee culture here is spectacular, I've heard. Perfect balance of sweetness. Hello, good. We're gonna be checking out a few cafes and sharing some of my favorites along the way. The first place we went to was Cafe Onion, and if you guys have seen any videos on Seoul and cafe hopping, you've probably seen this place. Ooh, it's hella crispy. We're already off to a good start because this cafe offers non-dairy milk options for my lactose friends out there, including myself. They have Oatly oat milk and coconut milk, which if you guys have not tried this brand of coconut milk, I would highly recommend it. I first tried it in Qatar and it is so good. They don't sell it in the US, so anytime I can get my hands on it, I have to get a coconut latte. I would highly recommend checking out this specific location because it's in a traditional hanok, so it has a perfect balance between traditional and modern. There are some seatings where you can take your shoes off and sit on the ground like you see here, or regular tables as you see in the back. checking out a coffee shop that was recommended to me by a few people on Instagram called Felt Coffee. It's around here somewhere, but it looks really good through the pictures. Can't wait to try it. Can I have uh, two vanilla latte ice with oat milk, please? It's only been our second coffee shop, but this one so far is the best one. It's so good. After exploring the Starfield Library, we checked out Arabica's newest and first location in South Korea. The cafe itself is stunning per usual and today happens to be a media day so we were lucky enough to come check it out before grand opening. The library itself is definitely worth visiting so you might as well grab a coffee while you're here. I would highly recommend getting the Spanish latte or the matcha latte. Day 3! It was a little bit rainy this day so my sister and I popped into Gallery Cafe while the boys were filming at a nearby basketball court. And this cafe is super cute. It's tucked away in this little garden area. The cafe itself is three stories and there's a bunch of these private traditional rooms that's first come first served. You take off your shoes and you chill inside. The one thing I will say is that unfortunately they do not offer non-dairy options. So I just got a regular matcha green tea. And then we also got this souffle cake with whipped cream on top. But I was a little too scared to try it. But my sister did say that she liked it. Cafe 
favorite day of the day at Felt Coffee. We actually went to the other location just down the street closer to the, um, the river area. Probably one of my favorite coffees I've had already in Seoul. Yeah. So good. We got vanilla, vanilla lattes with oat milk and it's like the perfect balance of sweetness. Hella good. Bitterness, everything. So good. It tastes fresh. The oat milk is like good too. Yeah, they use oatly here. Also picked up a bag of beans so I can brew at home. This is the classic espresso that they use for the lattes. So I can't wait to try it at home. This one is from Colombia, Guatemala, and Costa Rica. After that, we hopped in a taxi to check out the Sawasu flagship store in the Hanok village and then just kind of walked around the area and realized there's a ton of cute coffee shops that I wish we had time to explore. But we slowly made our way back to the palace area and decided to check out this cafe. It's located right across the street from the palace and it's known for their vegan drinks and dessert, which is why I wanted to come check it out. Are you gonna just try the Yeah. What's also really cool is that you can write and send your future self a letter one year from now. Prior to coming here, I was most excited to try the vegan black sesame latte and vegan black sesame crawfle. But unfortunately, I will have to say I was a little let down with the latte. The coffee was a little bit over extracted, so it was very, very bitter. Put the ice cream in here. But honestly, it could have just been a bad day for fine-tuning the espresso and I would definitely give it another try next time I'm back. Now on to the last cafe that we were able to visit on our very short trip to Seoul is Cafe Kitsune. It's funny I actually haven't even tried the one in New York but the ambiance was really cool. They were hosting a Grey Goose event so it was very busy this day. I will have to say the matcha was overly sweet, would not recommend it. It's so sweet, but the coffee was amazing, so definitely get that one instead. Happy birthday! Are you happy today? Yeah, I get to spend my birthday with my best friend. Baby. Best friend. But that is the end of this short-lived journey. I'm so sad that it's over, but hopefully I'll be back next time to properly do a cafe hopping tour with more local cafes. And if you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Cannot wait to show you guys the rest of what we did in Seoul. I'll see you in the next video.